everybody. Thanks for tuning into Border City Rock Talk, where you get great news, great interviews, great interviewees, with sometimes a comedic touch. Before I get to my guest today, please hit the like and subscribe button. Now, I bring to you from Soen, Martin Lopez. How are you doing, Martin? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, I loved your stuff, actually, when you're in Opeth, by the way. I mean, that's how I first uh, heard of you. It's a great stuff there. Thank but this, you. You're welcome. But this band, um, I think you guys formed in 2010 or 2020, 2012? 2012, I think. Okay, and so you got, you'll be releasing on September 1st for everybody, uh, Memorial, which is the sixth album? Uh, yep, the sixth. Okay, so September 1st, everybody get the... Well, actually, I'm going to put links below after um, so you can pre-order. Um, tell us a bit about um, how this album came about and how long it took you guys to write it. Well, we've been writing it for a couple of years. I mean, we started writing this album before Imperial uh, or previous album was out. Uh, so it's two years and, and well, we worked a lot. Um, back and forth, we've been touring, but, but always uh, having, you know, going back to, to, to the songs, the material we have and just making it better and better all the time. Right, right. So it's fair to say um, those albums were great. Actually, one of my favorite songs is Slithering from uh, Cognitive. But um, it's fair to say that Lotus is the album that really put you guys on the radar? It's fair to say, yes. Uh, it's the album that uh, kind of gave us the opportunity to to turn into a professional band. And, and from there, uh, everything has been a lot easier. Right, right. Um, you've got a very diverse uh, group um, of band members, but one in particular I want to talk about because this uh, show is based out of Canada. You have uh, Cody in the band. How did you, how did you get Cody on board? Uh, we, um, after, um, just right before Lotus, we had, we had the album. It was written, but we didn't have a guitar player back then. And, uh, I reached out to a lot of people and that I found in Instagram and guitar players and you know just playing stuff and asked everyone to to just play some of the riffs from uh, and to some of some solos for for especially for the song Lotus and uh, Cody was one of them and he he really stood out from the rest because he it's, you know, he plays. This is uh, the the kind of player that 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 plays with his heart. It really makes you feel stuff with his his playing. And uh, this band is a lot of more more about that than than chasing any than showing off or or you know. Yeah. You need to have the technical abilities, but you need to right. express some kind of emotion when you play. And he's really really fantastic at that right i i know you're, you're you're saying basically um a lot of players will play but they'll be playing just fast and flashy because they can whereas somebody mm -hmm. with cody's talent he can do that but he'll pick his places he'll play the song for the whole song not for him right exactly you gotta play for the song you gotta play for the the, the emotion and and the character of the song that's what it is about and and in metal, especially, uh, that is and uh, the priority for most of the musicians. They just want to to be fast and and do complex stuff. But uh, even more if the if they're playing for a, as an audition, of course. But he didn't care about that. He just made a, an amazing solo. Uh, not complex at all, just beautiful, and that kind of woke a uh, special interest in him so we we met him and and uh, and he's a fantastic guy you know very very humble and very down to very canadian and and really easy uh, to deal with and and it's been a, you know a blessing to have that guy on the band actually yeah and after all these years he has become 
such an important part of our sound too. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, yeah, I'm Canadian, and um, how do you say humble? And uh, we apologize a lot. So mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Well, it's the same with Swedish, with Sweden. You know, it's uh, it's it's, uh, it's very much the vibes are very alike. I think between Swedish people and Canadian people, probably because of the climates. It could be <laughs> probably because all of us have neighbors that sound a lot. That's right. That's right. That's right. To be quiet, yeah. Um. So, you've been to Canada before. But um, when you came last year, I think it was, you guys actually um, did a show in Ottawa and you met Cody and his family. Uh, how was that? Of course, we we went to his place and had dinner with the family. We met them before many times. They're, it's a lovely family. And, and uh, it's, you know, Kevin and, and uh, it's, his father is a, it's a very... Is a, talented guitar player and he's also really into into music and we really you know it's there it's, it's really nice to meet every time we we get together it's we always have a very nice time and and it's uh i don't know it feels really good it's good to have uh, somewhere to go when you're just on the other side of the world and, and to actually feel at home you know? right right so uh Next week, you start a string of shows, um, festivals. Um, when will you guys be coming to uh, North America? We're coming next year. Uh, we actually been going through the dates uh, today and confirming some of the shows that we have. So we will make a, a proper tour for Memorial Perfect. next year. Not sure when, but around May, I think, I hope. Well, we hope as well. Um, I actually just watched the video for Memorial, and what it, the days of a, a original uh, video, I think, have gone sideways. A lot of them are just easily produced, kind of at home. But this video is really well done. Um, tell us about what Memorial is written about, and um, and the reasoning for for writing that song. Uh, well, Memorial is about uh, <clears throat> a, uh, a soldier that uh, comes back from a, a, a war or a conflict and uh, has PTSD and what that uh, does with the, his environment, his family and such. And, and there's three songs on this album which are Memorial, Icon and Incendiary that are kind of connected mm -hmm. uh, with uh, the main theme being war. And, and in this case, we have, uh, as I told you, this story memorial. And then an icon is about, is uh, from, is from the angle of the, the parents sending, uh, a, 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 you know, a, a family sending a loved one to a war to defend uh, or attack whatever the government field needs to be defended or attacked. And in incendiary, it's uh, is the lyrics are about whoever is on the other side of 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 the conflict being uh, invaded or uh, freed, uh, and how they see the this person. So yeah, and and I think the theme of war came because, of course, we have the. In the middle of of, our, of writing this album, the the invasion of, of Ukraine happened, and and that kind of got us really, really angry. And you know, we have a, a Ukrainian bass player also, which made everything feel really close to us. And and uh, I think the el the album got fueled a lot by by the anger of 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 uh, that war. And also because of the the revolution in Iran that happened when this Masha Amini got beaten to death by cops because she refused to use her cover her hair and all that, mm -hmm. and all of those things along the way were uh, I don't know made the album turned the album into a very angry and, and aggressive kind of album compared to to the albums we have done before I think. 
Well, and, that, and that's a testament to your writing. You're writing about what's going on at the current time. So, and and actually, not notwithstanding the Russia Ukraine situation, there's like wars all over the world right now. It's just, it's just a mess. Yeah, yeah, uh, and it's been like that. The thing with this is, is uh, of course, uh, when it ha when it happens close to you, you feel them differently. Uh, and even if we always been, you know, all of our albums, we always try to to speak up against uh, injustice and and uh, and things like that, things that we think are important. But in this case, you know, the, this happening of the, the war and 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 the fear, you know, as a as a as, as a parent, we're really close to to Russia and and. When you have a guy invading a country because of I don't know what is 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 it kinds of makes you start thinking what can you know what will happen next. So so yeah. Yeah, it actually kind of reminded me of a song by um Jeff Tate of Queens right called Coming Home. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but um it's it's on the situation where you're saying it's kind of written in the um the version of the parent feeling or the or the, the the loved one waiting for their soldier or person um to come home if they come home yeah i think because that 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 is a bit i mean it's 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 sad to say but 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 because but when a war happens too far from from us with you know a culture we're not connected to, people that we don't know. It doesn't really make the same impact as uh, as when it's when when it's so close and and when you know people who are involved. It makes you realize a lot of things, and you know it's not just on the TV anymore. It's around you and it's alive, and and you start wondering these things. You know what? What about the the you know what about the families being bombed, and what about the guys being sent to bomb those families? What happened to them? And and, and it just makes a a, a really deep uh, impact on on all of us. And of course, that came through in the in the lyrics of the album. Absolutely, and it's great video, great cinematography. So everybody, check out Memorial on YouTube. Um, what's the opposite of unsubscribe? Uh, I guess it's subscribe. Okay, everybody subscribe to the channel, as a uh, legendary drummer Martin Lopez says. And um, I'll put the links below, Martin, so everybody can get the album. And one last question. Who would be your favorite Canadian musician or artist other than Cody? Uh, I'm going to say this, and uh, people will hate me forever. Uh but I will actually say Brian Adams. I don't think people would hate you forever because I like Brian Adams too. He's, he's, he's great. Uh, people expect me to say a cool band. Oh, Brian Adams is cool. <laughs> for you Canadians, maybe not for yeah. the rest of the world. Yeah, I know. What, I know you're saying you're they're they're expecting like Voivod or somebody heavier. Yes. But um, yeah, well, I'm sure Brian would be happy to hear that. Um, Looking forward to seeing you uh, in 2024, and I'm going to let you go. I don't want to cut this too short, but I know it's uh, 10 o'clock in Stockholm where you're where you're living, and um, mm -hmm. you've been doing pressers all day, so I'd like to thank you again for your time. Thanks to you. Thanks for having me, and uh, see, you in, uh, see you soon, Ben. Great. Thanks a lot, man. All right, man. Take care. Bye-bye.